Hi, it's Chris here with the Chewy VI8. Just having a look at some gaming now on the tablet and a bit of an Android hands-on here. This is uh, Modern Combat 5, probably one of the most hardest games for the tablet to render when it comes to the graphics here because it's a very graphical game. As you can see, it looks really good. It looks amazing. It's almost like PlayStation 3 kind of level of graphics. So it tends to run quite slow, but because of lower resolution, I'm hoping it's going to be a lot more playable here, at least. So let's have a look around here. And that does actually seem a lot faster than the other tablets I've been trying to have high resolution displays like the Ticklast X98 Air 3G or the X10. Does seem actually a lot smoother there. And what you probably notice is that the webcam's down here on the bottom. I'm playing the actually upside down the tablet and I'll explain why that is. Because on the bottom we have the speakers left and right and you tend to hold the tablet like this with your hands either side. Well, most people would. How, this, how else would you hold it? And when you do that you're actually covering the speakers so it plays, plays to play it actually upside down so you can have both of the speakers free at the top there so you can hear them quite well. And they're, they're quite good speakers on this tablet actually. Quite loud. And so far so good, it does seem to run the game quite well. Scrolling around there is a little laggy, a little slow there. I'm having trouble doing that, holding it, the tablet. Okay, nice swipe. Oh, you just swipe really fast. Yeah. Yeah, you can see that that graphics is actually quite good for an Android game. I was thinking this is just running on a Bay Trail chip. It really does look quite good, Xbox 360 kind of quality. Almost. So even this demanding game is playable here on the Chewy VI-10. I'm just not very good at it. Here I've just connected up a Xbox 360 controller and the fun some reason the tablet is doing something funny. Okay, but it thinks it's a 3G dongle that I've actually put in there. So it's come up with this here. Connect to USB dongle. And when I have the controller connected, you can see here and it's flashing. So it seems that the Chewy VI-10 here does not have drivers. For the Xbox 360 controller, look, I, I know other Android devices, you can run the controllers in some of these games, but it, it seems to me that it doesn't seem to support it at all. It thinks it's a modem, so that's really odd there. I do not know why it is doing that, but uh, it's something that needs to be solved, hopefully. So what I've been trying to do here is get root on the device, and I haven't had any luck at all. I've tried Kingo root, Bay Trail root uh, toolbox, that did not work at all, and iRoot did not work either. So really trying to get root on this is seems to be a bit of a mission at the moment. So I don't know how I'm going to do that or so maybe someone knows or has a link how to get root on this tablet. Please uh, do let me know in the comments here of the video. So the ROM you can see hopefully on the camera that it does look a little bit blurry Android because it's running a DPI of 160 which is not scaling perfectly to the actual screen resolution of 1366 by 768. It's either higher or lower there, I think lower, higher there, which is kind of scaling up the icons and everything. So it does look a tad bit blurry 
once the camera focuses there, you can see that it's not as sharp as Windows when you're using it. Now you've probably seen the super user logo there, but you can see no, I don't have root at all. Should be nice to have. As far as it, uh, bloat applications, you've only really got one. This is this Chewy application here, which I think is some kind of store for the uh, Chewy. And there's no way to remove that without root, but otherwise you can remove e every single other application that was on the, on the tablet pre-installed. So that's only just one bloat thing you can't really get rid of. I've actually run a few benchmarks on the tablet, which I'll just show you now in the gallery. For those interested in benchmark scores, there is the benchmark there for Geekbench 3. So not, not a bad score at all there of 815 single core, multi-core score. It's around the same kind of score that I've seen on these uh, Atom Z37 36s. That was me trying to try uh, Kingo Root to get root access, did not work. So these are the available sensors that the tablet has. We do have a light sensor, and we that's the accelerometer is the other sensor there. So there's only two sensors on board, which doesn't seem a lot. That's all we have here. So the light sensor, I will show you how that does actually work with the brightness. I can set to automatic here, so I can set that to auto, and it will automatically control the brightness, which can be um, okay. It, the same works in Windows too. You can change that, set it on or off. I normally actually turn that off because I, I like to control the brightness completely myself. There's just a few details there. You can see that it's the HL there, quad core. This is the score I managed to get using the uh, Citadel benchmark, almost 60 frames per second. So it runs really well because it's got that low resolution, even on ultra high quality there, runs just fine. This is the quadrant, sorry, not quadrant, and tutu benchmark. Again, that is very similar to what I've seen on the same chipset running on other tablets from China. So the score is similar to that of the Nexus 5 or the LG G3. And overall, the, the ROM is very vanilla here. It's quite fast. There's no slowdown or anything like that. It's not heavy, laggy, kind of bloaty. ROM that I've seen on the tech class tablets. They tend to use, they use their own launcher and it's very slow. It's not that fast and good. Luckily Chewy did not do anything stupid like that and they've just gone with just a standard Google launcher here and it's good. There's no complaints here at all. Uh, games like Dead Trigger 2 which is optimized for the Tegra chipsets doesn't seem to run at all. You get about this far and it'll, you can even see the little cut sequence but it won't run the game for some reason. Just doesn't seem to be supporting the Intel HD graphics, I think. This is as far as the game will go. It just doesn't want to work. Doesn't seem to load or anything. Not supported. But you can obviously hear from that little bit of sound there that came through those speakers that those speakers are really loud. That's not even the full volume. They're quite loud, the speakers. They do distort if you put them right up the volume. So it wasn't even actually full volume. That was around about 70% there. So very loud, the speakers. Some of the better ones I've heard, nothing like what the Chewy VI8 had. It had hopeless speakers. They were just horrendous. No volume to them at all. This has volume. They even have maybe even a tinge of bass to them. So that, that game is just not working at all. Doesn't seem to run on any of the bay trails. Last but not least, I will show you some real racing.
So you can see there that real racing runs fine. It runs on all of these bay trails without any issues. What you can see though is it does look quite pixely because of the screen resolution. It doesn't look as sharp as it would on other tablets. So if I can zoom in here, you can see some of the jagginess there a little bit around the, the lights and the windscreen here. But overall, it's very, it's very fast, it's smooth. You can see just a little bit there, some of the jagginess because of the lower resolution. But that also does help the frame rate, keep that frame rate nice and high there with that uh, lower resolution. So, okay, this is just a quick hands-on there with the Chewy and Android. One other thing to uh, note that it does support micro SD cards like this one here. This is a 64 gigabyte card. Works without any issues. Unfortunately, I don't have a 128 gigabyte card to show you to test on the tablet because that's uh, corrupted. It's not working at all. Uh, it might not work 128. If it's going to work, it'll probably be only be in Windows and not in Android is what I've found. So this card works anyway. Thanks for watching the video and do subscribe if you'd like to see more up and coming videos on this tablet and other tablets from China. Thanks for watching and hopefully catch you on my next video.